everyone, it's Marina the Eco Goddess and welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to my minimalist kitchen. I've made a recipe in here before. It's, it's very small and quaint and we make what we can in it. I have, my neighbor has a beautiful stove that I can use if I want to. It's a strive towards using less energy and really um, being happy and creative with what I have. Welcome, welcome to the minimalist kitchen. I I'm very excited today to show you guys some zero waste vegan Thanksgiving recipes. I've thought very hard on how to give you guys recipes that are easy to make but also satisfy your taste buds, those beautiful Thanksgiving flavors. I can't even imagine how many turkeys are slaughtered a year for this holiday, but for me, something that's made me enjoy the holiday more is just to make recipes like this and to bring them and to share them with people and I usually don't even advertise them as vegan and people are always like oh my god this is so good. I also want to just give a quick shout out to The Conscious Home. I've done a little collab with them for this video. They've supplied me with some awesome products from their collection. The Conscious Home is a company that makes home linens out of all upcycled fabrics and they refrain from the use of synthetic dyes, from pesticides. I really love this business model of upcycling. It's completely in alignment with the zero waste movement and the zero waste lifestyle, so I'm very, very excited and honored to collaborate with them. As you can see, I am wearing their apron. It is cute as a button, and I also have some other things from them, like an oven mitt, and another oven mitt like this. It's just so cute, oh my god. And then I also have a bunch of different towels from them right here. That's one of their towels. And you guys will see their towels and things throughout this video. So shout out to Conscious Home. If you're interested in buying any of their things, use the discount code MARINA25 and you will get a nice little discount. Maybe you could use it. I know Thanksgiving is like right around the corner, but maybe for December. <laughs> so definitely take advantage of that if you're interested and you know of someone who's wanting some towels. Today I'm very excited to give you guys an appetizer, some entree dishes, and of course a dessert because what is an evening of Thanksgiving without dessert? Without further ado, let's get to cooking. The first recipe we're going to be making is the pomegranate seed kale salad with a balsamic vinaigrette. Start by chopping up your lettuce, or if you're doing it like I do, start by tearing it apart with your hands. I like to use a variety of greens, so here I'm using three different kinds of kale, and I will also be using some arugula and some amaranth leaves. I'm also going to be putting some purple cabbage, raw yellow cauliflower, and some avocado. Homemade balsamic vinegar is super easy to make. Simply do a half a teaspoon of water, one and a half teaspoons of organic extra virgin olive oil, four teaspoons of balsamic vinaigrette, and add any dry spices that you wish. After adding all of your toppings, lastly put on your toasted almonds and enjoy. That's it. It's that easy. And now on to one of the entrees, roasted root vegetables, one of my all-time favorite foods. Cut up as many root vegetables as you'd like. Then place your root vegetables in a pan and glaze with grapeseed oil. Decorate your root vegetables with any spices that you'd like. Here I'm using salt, pepper, fresh oregano and thyme, some onion powder and garlic powder, and that's it. Place in the oven at 400 degrees for approximately 15 to 20 minutes. And now on to arguably one of the best parts of this recipe video, the lentil burgers. I've experimented with these a lot and I think I've finally mastered the recipe. You will need one cup of cooked green lentils. Once your lentils are cooked and cooled down, put in the food processor or blender with four stalks of celery, one cup of rice flour, half of a juice of lemon, half of a medium onion, a fourth teaspoon of cumin, a fourth teaspoon of coriander, one tablespoon of fresh thyme, 
and oregano, two cloves of garlic, and a half teaspoon of salt or to taste. You might need to add more flour as I did with this recipe. It all depends on how soft you want your patties to be. Blend your lentil burger mixture in your high speed blender or food processor until it becomes a paste. Then when you have your paste, Roll the paste into tiny balls to make patties. Once your lentil burger mixture are formed into small balls, put in your frying pan with grapeseed oil. Once both sides of your patty are brown, your patty is done. And now on to dessert, we're gonna be making some chia pudding. Chia pudding is one of my favorite desserts to make just because of how easy it is to make and it's so incredibly delicious. Start off by putting six tablespoons into an empty mason jar. Then put one can of full fat coconut milk into your mason jar. Next, add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Add a sprinkle of maple syrup, coconut, nectar, or if you're like me and like to stay away from added sugars, add some xylitol. I usually do just a pinch. And now for some spices, I always love adding some cardamom and cinnamon. Add approximately one to two tablespoons of each or to taste. Throw in some pistachios. I absolutely love pistachios and chia pudding. You can add whatever nut that you like, maybe pecans or walnuts. Then stir it around. Put your chia pudding in the fridge for one hour and your chia pudding should be ready to go. And next, my favorite part, add your guavas and strawberries. I'm also going to be adding some banana to this recipe just because I was really craving some banana. If you emphasize all of the other flavors, do a little squeeze of lemon. Add your fruit to your mason jar and your dessert is done. so I hope that you really enjoyed this recipe video. I'm gonna scramble and chase the sun to make the gravy, which is the last and final recipe that will complete your dish. You can put it on your lentil burgers or your root vegetables, pretty much whatever you'd like. Maybe someone brings vegan mashed potatoes or you can make those yourself. So I'm gonna whip that up real quick and um, yeah. To make the gluten-free vegan gravy, Add one and a half cups of vegetable broth, one tablespoon of olive oil, one and a half tablespoons of tamari, three tablespoons of nutritional yeast flakes, four tablespoons of gluten-free flour, I used rice flour, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder or two cloves of garlic, and a half a teaspoon of thyme. Add sea salt to taste and black pepper as well. Okay guys, and that is the final recipe, the gluten-free vegan gravy. Oh, it smells so divine, and it would be perfect on the lentil burgers, or your mashed potatoes if you make some, or your root vegetables, really whatever you'd like. I personally think that Thanksgiving isn't complete without gravy. Um, the sun has set yet again, hence the weird lighting, but I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching my Zero Waste Vegan Thanksgiving video. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. I post every single Monday and Thursday and I hope that you guys have a really beautiful Thanksgiving and that is compassionate and cruelty free and yummy. Bye!